Hi, I'm Amy, and I love to talk about intentional creative living and reducing overwhelm to feel like you have more margin for that creativity. Well, you can see behind me this antique frame, but there's nothing inside of it. So I'm going to show you a really easy way of adding color and dimension to your space. And this is a great way to add art to your home on a budget. Art can be really expensive. If you just go to Home Goods, TJ Maxx, even these discount stores, you're still probably gonna be spending at least $30 for some small art. But if you go to the thrift store and you get a nice antique frame, you might have to dig around a little bit or visit a few thrift stores to find something with character like this one that I found, but you can probably spend less than $10 on this art. I got really excited about creating art for my home when I recently staged my home for sale and wished that I had actually staged my home for living. So I want that for you. I want you to enjoy your space to the fullest. Anyways, back to creativity. Enjoying my space and staging for living, right? Okay, so what you're gonna need besides your frame that you've hopefully thrifted or found at a garage sale or, or even in the trash along the side of the road, I am a trash picker. You're gonna need something dimensional to glue on to this. And I have chosen a basket, but something like a really colorful placemat. And you can get these at, like I said, TJ Maxx, thrift stores. Maybe you have some laying around. Go looking at the dollar store too. I'm sure you can find some of these. I think I've seen these before. Um, but I liked the idea of something that's just sticking out. <laughs> so I'm gonna glue this on and then I'm gonna add some paint. But first I'm going to be taking some different shapes. You could use new pencil erasers, you could use stamps. I've got a glue, a giant glue. I think, think that that's a, an interesting design and some different sizes of circles. And I'm going to take some acrylic paint. I don't recommend doing this on the wall, but that's how I'm gonna do it. Hopefully I won't ruin anything. <laughs> I've got acrylic paint in the same color family. At least I think it's the same color family. In the shades of the color of the decor in this room, and I'm going to kind of do like a radiating pattern um, on this before I glue on my accent piece. So I'm going to start out with, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to do the biggest in the most subtle color. I'm going to mix up my gray. And this is gray that's going to match my furniture. I'm just going to press it on. Ooh, I like it. In a pattern. Doesn't have to be perfect. I've already smeared it a little bit. Might need to go back and get some more paint. As Bob Ross says, there are no mistakes in painting, only happy accidents, right? Unless, of course, I drop this on the carpet, in which case it will not be a happy accident. <laughs> It'll probably be a very upset. Now you can take pieces of cardboard, you can take those big erasers and carve them, and you can make all kinds of stamps to use for this. Now I'm going to switch to my smallest circle and I'm going to do some radial kind of art. Now you can notice I'm not trying to do this perfectly and I'm not trying to spend a lot of time on this. And that's something as a recovering perfectionist that I'm learning. I just want to enjoy color and things can be abstract and not terribly realist. Just so that I can, like I said, enjoy my colors. <laughs> I think irregularities provide a little bit more visual interest. The good thing about acrylics is that they dry pretty quickly. And I'm gonna go to a medium circle with my purple. If you do this on a table, your arm won't be as tired as mine will be after I do this. <laughs> you can see that very few of these mesh. <laughs> Nothing's exact. So I'm gonna use an interesting paintbrush and get it a little bit wet. And I'm just gonna kinda like Blend them together. Oh, I like it. Get it wet again. One thing that really motivated me to get my spaces in order and beautified is the idea that your home or your surroundings are a reflection of what's going on inside your mind. So if you have a cluttered mind, you're probably gonna have a cluttered space. And I've personally struggled with anxiety since after my, my first child was born and now I have three. So it's especially important for me to keep my mental health top priority. 
So I want to make it look a little bit more um, sophisticated. Right now it looks kind of like, you know, kids art. <laughs> I'm going to mix my colors together, come up with a light blue that kind of matches the wall. Uh-oh. Oop. Houston might have a problem. I obviously don't have much of a plan here. Other than color. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's filling up. Now I'm excited to introduce the accent color. And this is um, a different kind of paint. It's fabric paint, so it's going to have a different look to it. A different sheen. So this is going to be shinier. I'm just kind of filling in the gaps with the accent color, so I like it so far. My technique is called winging it. <laughs> I don't know, kind of reminds me of the lion's mane. I'm not sold on it yet. <laughs> but I'm having fun and that's what matters. If it's so crazy, there's no pattern to, to judge if I did a good job with. <laughs> Well, what do you think? Would you put this up on your wall? <laughs> what would you use as the 3D piece in the middle? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, would you please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe below, and hit that notification bell if you want more content like this. YouTube thinks you'd enjoy this video, and this is my most recent video. I'll see you in the next one.